Hell yeah, can you feel it? Yeah. That's right, it is summertime. Time of the year I absolutely live for. This is beautiful. The breeze is right, temperature is right. Yes. And the breeze is just right for cranking some serious metal. Welcome to a new segment of Zane's World. It's going to be called Justin's Picks for the Weekend. That's right, time of the time of year, you just want to get in your car and just drive anywhere. It doesn't matter where, just anywhere, it doesn't matter. In this segment, I'm going to share a couple different albums, either from days gone by or current times. But either way, these albums are, uh, these albums you want to just put in your car, crank up, roll down the windows, open up the sunroof if you have one, and just enjoy summertime. Check it out. Welcome back, everybody, to a new episode of Sane's World. Like I said before, this is a segment. It's, uh, it's new. It's called Justin's Picks for the Weekend, the time where most uh, most everybody is off the off of work. They get time to themselves. They get a uh, little me time, what we call around here. And uh, yeah, just get in your car and just drive. Doesn't matter where. Just just uh, enjoy summertime. I haven't done so yet. Uh, below down here somewhere there is a button. It's called subscribe. <laughs> Uh, if you want to click that, go and subscribe to my channel. It would be awesome. Help, help me grow my channel. Um, also, you can click the, down there a little bit further down there is a bell. Uh, you can click that, and uh, if you do that, you'll be notified. You'll be the first on your block. That's right, to be notified anytime I drop any new videos, which I am definitely going to be doing um, more frequently. As a matter of fact, there's going to be another one coming out uh, really, really soon. So, there you go. Alright, so I'm going to drop two CDs on your guys' heads uh, today. Um, the first one is by uh, a band called Kicks. That's right. Not the serial. Even better. This is a killer rock band. Uh, they're from uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, they were formed, I believe, somewhere like in the uh, early 80s. Uh, it took them a while to gain some traction and, uh, and uh, get popular. So there you go. But... Um, this came out in the fall of 1988, and I'm not really sure of when um, my kind of time capsule is kind of messed up here and there, but uh, I was actually staying out in California, and I was staying uh, with my M. Marshall, Uncle Bill, and Cousin Damien. Uh, they were living down in uh, Palos Verdes, which is kind of down by, down by Long Beach area. Anyways, um, I heard... A song. Let's see. It's the third song on that on the album. Can you read that? That's right. No ring around Rosie. It wasn't a single, but KNAC 105.5 Pure Rock, Long Beach, Los Angeles dropped it on your head, yo. And uh, so that was actually the first song that I actually heard uh, from this album. And I was like, I remember sitting in my cousin uh, Damien's room, and I was like, holy shit, who in the hell is this band? It was just really, really cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play about eh, about about three about three songs uh, from this album, so you can kind of get uh, kind of get an idea of what these guys are all about. They're kind of like a glam metal version, uh, American version of ACDC. Very raw, just you know, just just really really cool. Just very simple, but uh, yeah, they have a lot of lot of hooks. Um, so yeah, check this out. All right, this is Kicks. Check it out. All right, this is a song that I was just telling you about, No Ring Around Rosie. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to be uh, be able to play of this song. We'll find out. I'll probably, I don't know how, uh, how picky they are about copyright, but we'll find out. So, yeah, just very raw. Just really, really cool. Up a little bit.
here comes the chorus. It's a really, really cool chorus. another song for you. Alright, here is another song. This is called She Dropped Me the Bomb. <laughs> you guys like it? Check out another song. Alright. And I'm sure you've heard of this song. This was the hit single off of the album. It's called Cold Blood. The video is really cool. I remember hearing a story about the video, the uh, bass player... Uh, in the video, he was swinging his, his bass around, and it happened to catch the uh, singer right in the side of the head, and he started bleeding. Kind of made for a cool effect. Obviously, this song called Cold Blood. Stuff, right? Yeah, it is. All right. I'm gonna play a little bit of another song. You're back. All right. Here is the title track. This is song number nine of ten. It's called "Blow My Fuse." Kicks. You guys like this so far? Yeah, it's good shit, isn't it? Alright. Yeah, it's good shit. All right, so I got one more CD to drop on your heads uh, heads for the weekend, so hang out. All righty, everybody. Welcome back. Here is the second CD I'm dropping on you guys today. This came out in 2013, and this le like legitimately was my pretty much the only album that I listened to that summer. So it is Vince Neil. Tattoos and Tequila. Yeah. Alright, this is the first song on the CD and title track. Check it out. Alright, here comes the chorus. A really cool chorus. Cool. Um, turn this down a little bit. 
So I was able to see uh, Vince Neil on this solo tour, and I remember thinking, I was like, man, I, w- I wonder who he's got torn with him as far as his backup band. So I looked and I found a couple shows that he had done you know, previously before I saw him, and it was basically Slaughter with Vince Neil. And one thing stuck out at me instantly was the drummer, uh, Zoltan Chaney. That dude is insane. Oh, my God. So I basically watched him like half the night. and watched, I watched uh, Jeff Blando the other half. And, you know, Vince Neil here and here and there. But, uh, yeah, the band was excellent. And they kicked ass. Let's turn this up a little bit. Killer. All right. We'll play another song. Hold on. All right. Here is the second song. One thing about this album is it's actually mostly cover uh, cover material. Um, I can't remember who actually did this song, but it's called He's a Whore. Killer. Wait, 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 I'm just going to play several songs from the CD. So, Killer. Here. This is the song ACDC, not the band ACDC. Killer. Yeah. All right, just fast forward just a little bit. It sounds, it sounds really, really good. No ballads today. No, no, no. <laughs> Sex Pistols. Nah. Yeah. No, 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 no. All right, hold on. I got a song for you. Hold on. Alright. At first, this song is almost unrecognizable, but it's a song that everybody's heard of by an artist that everybody knows. It's about a city that I want to go to, like, really, really bad, too. Recognize it? No? You will. Hold on. <laughs> Viva Las Vegas! Hell yeah! Killer. Oh yeah, this is, uh, the bitch is back. Yeah, just an awesome, awesome record. Alrighty, everybody. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Here again are the two CDs that I dropped on you guys today. Yeah. 
Kicks, Blow My Fuse, Vince Neal, Tattoos, and Tequila. Two great records. Hopefully this will get your uh, summer started out right. Hopefully I can uh, help you out in any way possible. So um, I'm going to be doing this every Friday. So get everybody's weekend started right. So again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking down there somewhere where it says subscribe. Click that. Also hit the bell so you'll be notified, being the first on your block to, uh, to know when I drop new videos. And also somewhere down there, way down there, way down there, around there. Yeah, go and comment. Tell me if I picked the uh, the right CDs to start all start this thing uh, start this thing off. So, all right, I'll see you guys next Friday. Be well, stay rad, horns up. Bye, guys.